Hi, I'm Caleb and I'm a digital marketer at SendPulse. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send message campaigns and use chatbots for WhatsApp. SendPulse has recently become a Facebook partner and is now an official provider of the WhatsApp API. So our new integration with WhatsApp has a direct connection. Most providers charge you just to connect your phone number to WhatsApp in addition to a monthly fee to use the official WhatsApp business API. We aim to make this channel accessible to everyone. That's why we are not going to charge any monthly fees or fees for connecting your phone number to WhatsApp whatsoever. In order to start sending WhatsApp messages, you need to connect your phone number to the WhatsApp business API. We will add a detailed guide in the video description, but in short, you need a phone number that is not connected to an existing WhatsApp account and your verified company ID from Facebook Business Manager. As soon as your phone number is connected to the WhatsApp Business API, you can start responding to your customers' messages through chats and create automatic chatbot flows right away. Anyone who starts a WhatsApp chat conversation with you will be added to your audience as a subscriber. If you have an existing list of contacts from users who previously opted in to receive WhatsApp notifications from you, you can import the list to SunPulse along with all of the variables you have saved in your list. To keep growing your contact list, we recommend using subscription widgets on your website or mini landing pages that you can create using our service. Check the video description for a guide on how to use subscription forms and mini pages. Sending messages to users who didn't contact you before, or to be more specific, who did not contact you within the last 24 hours, is only possible using a template message. Templates must be approved by Facebook's moderation team before you can send them. Unlike messages sent within the first 24 hours, template messages cost money for each delivered message. You can find the actual prices for messages to different parts of the world in the pricing plan section. To send your template to Facebook for moderation, go to your chatbot and click Add Template. Give the template a name so you can easily search for it in your template list. You can use lowercase characters, numbers, and underscores. Write the text for the template. You can use emoji and variables in the form of numbers in curly brackets. When you send a message using this template, you can change the numbers to the corresponding variable names. The message may also contain an attachment and a signature. The attachment will appear at the top of the message. Use attachments to add an image or document to your messages. Signatures are shown at the bottom of messages. You can also add buttons to your message. The button can be a link to a website or contain a user input element. When a subscriber clicks on the user input element, a 24-hour window opens for you to send messages to this contact for free. If you set a trigger keyword in the text of a user input button, clicking on it will trigger the flow assigned to this keyword. Next, select a template language from the drop-down list in a suitable category. After you fill in all the information, click Save and the template will be sent to Facebook's moderation team. After moderation, the status of the template changes to Approved or Declined, and you can use this template for messaging once it is approved. To send a campaign using an approved template, go to the Chatbot section and click Create a Campaign. Select a connected chatbot from the drop-down list and choose the audience for your campaign. If you select your entire audience, you can send the campaign using an approved template. The cost of template messages is calculated according to the SendPulse pricing plan. If you select your active audience, that is, people who have been active within the last 24 hours, the message will only be sent to users who interacted with your chatbot in the last 24 hours. These messages are free. A message to your active audience can include any text, variables, and emoji. These messages can also contain an image, file, or an additional block of text. For instance, let's send a campaign using a previously approved template. You can segment your audience according to their subscription date, variables, tags, participation in automatic flows, and received campaigns. Select a template and insert variables from the audience section or a constant value in place of variables with numbers. In the next window, choose to send the campaign now or schedule it for the future. Here, you can also see the cost of the campaign. This money will be withdrawn from your account balance. Every campaign has detailed analytics, including the number of delivered messages and subscribers who interacted with the message. Now, let's see how to create an automatic flow in WhatsApp. To begin, let's create triggers that launch the chatbot flows. Click on Create New Trigger 
and select the trigger type keyword. Type in one or several keywords, for example, price, subscription plan, or cost. After creating the trigger, click on Create Flow and start editing it. There is no significant difference between the functions of our easy-to-use chatbot builder for WhatsApp and our other messengers. However, buttons are only available for template messages in WhatsApp. This means that buttons cannot be added to a message in the chatbot builder. To build a WhatsApp chatbot flow, use elements like messages, flows, actions, filters, API requests, or pauses. The message element always serves to start the flow. This element may contain text, an image, a file, and a user input element. For example, in the first message after the trigger, let's ask subscribers which particular item they are interested in, suggesting three options. Then take the filter element and link it to the user input in the previous element. This will serve to trigger separate flows based on the subscriber's response. After you have added all the elements and checked the links between them, click the Save and Send to Yourself button in the upper right-hand corner to test the flow and check if everything works correctly. Then, click Save and Exit. We have a public API for integrations with other services and your projects. This allows you to, for example, send trigger messages based on users' actions on your website. Register with SendPulse to send automatic and message campaigns to your subscribers and combine them with other channels of communication. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications on important service updates and useful internet marketing videos. I'll be glad to answer your questions in the comments below.